Hey guys, so in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to get ready for school in five minutes or less and basically how to get ready for school super fast. I know that when I was in high school, I wanted to sleep in the longest I could, but I also wanted to look good for school and presentable. So I'm going to show you guys my tips on how to do that and how to just shorten down your routine. For me, when I was in high school, I had to leave the house at like 7.20 and school started at 7.35, and I there were days that I literally would wake up at 7.15 or at 7.20, and I just thought I was gonna be late, but I figured out ways to shorten down my routine, and that's what I'm gonna show you guys today. So I hope you guys enjoy this video, and let's get started into it. Starting with hair, if you don't like to leave your hair natural or you want to do something kind of a little more presentable with your hair, I'm going to show you guys how I curl my hair in like five minutes or less on a school day. Um, my hair is like naturally like very wavy and curly so I can't always leave it just like down and natural just because it looks like this and it looks messy. So I'm going to show you guys how I curl my hair in like five minutes. And it's super easy. So what you're gonna want to do is put your hair in a ponytail up first and then you're just going to curl the hair in the ponytail. This makes it super easy to curl the hair, curl all your hair but really fast because all of your hair is in one place. I just take like one inch sections and curl my hair like that and I just pull the hair very close to the very tight to the barrel so that it really curls all of it and I hold it I know you send me darling you send me darling you send me okay so my entire ponytail is curled and that literally took me less than four minutes. You could leave it like this, but I personally like having my hair down. So I'm just gonna take it out of the ponytail and it just looks like this. So it just kind of curls everything. My hair is more smooth and not a little less frizzy now, but as you can see, I still have like a little bit of frizz and like waves here. So I'm gonna take my straightener just kind of go over some pieces so that it's not so frizzy and big. Sometimes I like to go back in with a curling iron and just recurl them so that they're a little more curly. And that's what it looks like. So for makeup for school, I would keep it very, very simple. It really depends on your skin and like what makes you feel most confident. For me, what I really like to have for makeup is under eye concealer, mascara, and blush. So all of the makeup I'm going to use, you can get at the drugstore or Ulta. So it's super cheap and affordable for makeup you can use every day for school. First, I like to start by moisturizing my face to make sure that my face doesn't get dried out during the day. And it kind of just adds life back into my face, especially after like sleeping and if I like to get a lot of sleep. It really just depends on what you like to have done, what makeup you like to have for school. I'm just going to show you a kind of full makeup look um, that you can do it really quickly. So. Instead of putting on a full face of foundation, I just like to do to use concealer. I find that it's like a lot quicker and it makes you look a lot more natural for school. And for this concealer, this is the L'Oreal Infallible Full Wear. You can get this at the drugstore, like I said. It's a really good concealer because it's full coverage, it brightens your under eyes, and it's very cheap from the drugstore. <laughs> Okay, so 
So next I like to take a darker concealer just to put on any other spots I want to cover up like pimples or just like dark marks. So this is the Morphe concealer from Ulta. You can get this at Ulta. It's like $7 and I really recommend it. Putting on concealer instead of foundation just makes you look a lot more covered up and if you want to cover anything it helps to do that but it's just a lot faster than putting on a full face of foundation. It also looks a lot more natural and it's quicker. And especially for those days that you feel like you don't want to wear a full face of makeup but you still want a little bit of coverage, this is a really good technique to use. I do like to set the rest of my face and add a little color so I use the Maybelline Fit Me powder as you can see it's I've used a lot of it so I just put that all over my face you can stop here if you are fine with this look but I like to have a little bit of blush just to add more color, make me look a little more like flush and awake. I've been really liking using this product and this is the e.l.f. Jelly Pop Flush Blush. This is like a liquid cream jelly, I guess you could call it, blush. And it has like sparkles in it too. It's just a really pretty color for if you're still a little tan. Using cream products will really help your face look a little more natural during the day. And they also, I feel like they last a little bit longer. And like I said, this does have sparkle in it, so it kind of doubles as a blush and highlighter, so you don't have to go in and do a separate step with your highlighter. So now that the face is all done, I do recommend that you still set your face. So I use the Morphe setting mist. So then for my eyes, I don't really do a lot of eyeshadow on a regular day of school. If you do want something on your eyes, I recommend taking whatever bronzer you use and just putting that in your crease and just a little bit if you just want some definition on your eyes. Then I just curl my eyelashes and pop some mascara on. Another tip I have if you want to look a little more awake, it's a very quick tip, I didn't always do this but sometimes I would, is I take whatever highlight I use on an eyeshadow brush and I would just pop that in my inner corner, like inner tear duct of my eyes and this just kind of makes your eyes look a little more bright and awake, if, especially if you were tired or didn't get a lot of sleep. So I just like doing that. And then for lips, if you just want a little bit of color, but you don't want your lips to be dry or anything, I recommend using a gloss. This is the e.l.f. Jelly Pop Juicy Gloss. I just recently discovered this and I really like it just because it adds a little bit of color to your lips. It's also very moisturizing and it just adds a little bit of color and it's not anything too harsh and it's just very natural for school. And then you can like bring this with you and reapply it during the day. So this is the finished makeup look that's super quick and easy to achieve. Okay, so for outfit, I know finding an outfit can be super stressful and it can take a really long time. So when you're deciding your outfit, I would keep it super simple and just kind of dress it up with accessories. So for this outfit, I'm just wearing this white t-shirt that I knotted and with this Free People bralette to make it look a little more put together. And then my Lululemon green 
leggings and I'm wearing it with my Air Force Ones. Another outfit you could do if you want to look a little more presentable is wear either a romper or a dress. These are really easy to just throw on because you don't have to match a top and a bottom together so you can just throw this on. This one that I'm wearing is from Abercrombie and it's just really easy to throw on if you want to look a little more presentable or you just don't have that much time. You can also wear this outfit with Air Force Ones, but if you want to dress it up a little more, I like wearing these little platform espadrilles. They're super comfortable and they give you a little more height. Okay guys, so those were all my tips for getting ready quickly and how to do your hair and makeup very quickly. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful. If you want to see more back to school videos, make sure to comment them down below and make sure to subscribe and follow me on Instagram and Visco. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.